Hello, this is Mark Woodard from MirrorAthlete.com, M-I-R-R-O-R-A-T-H-L-E-T-E.com. And um, the message I wanted to put out today is sick building syndrome. Back in November, I wrote an article, which you can find at uh, the MirrorAthlete.com repository health site. It's within the main site. Um, just go there and read the sick building syndrome. But what it really boils down to is the off-gassing or out-gassing um, that most new buildings present as a health issue um, from a respiratory aspect. Um, so chemicals can be released from new building materials and in the, in the um, construction world, the expectation as a project manager is you um, have to leave so much time without human inhabitants uh, for the off-gassing or out-gassing to occur so people don't get sick. Well, the same thing's also true with your household. So a lot of people don't know it, um, that most of the products that you use to date have um, hazardous chemicals in them and a lot of them are carcinogenic. So I'm going to cover that real quick here in a second. But um, from the um, literature that I wrote, I uh, just wanted to say that um, I experienced this as a kid and um, uh, didn't know what it was. And I remember my mom was a professional seamstress, so she would go into all these fabric warehouses and uh, basically make me go with her. So it, it was just horrible as a, a three or four year old. I think that's how old I was, probably five or six, most likely. She'd spend hours in this place and the off-gassing from the chemicals in that fabric just made me sick. I remember that as a kid and I literally just passed out in the playpen area. So. Um, I didn't know what that was. My mom just thought it was due to boredom. Of course, most kids wouldn't like to be in that environment anyway. And uh, eventually I just dealt with it and just felt crappy all the time. Uh, and then as an adult, I experienced that off-gassing effect in a sports um, retail outlet when I was in my, I think my early 30s. And I remember getting really sick and I told my wife, I said, I, I don't know what's going on, but I'm really dizzy. I feel off balance. I feel like I'm gonna die, you know, literally. And so she took me out of there and, and I just, it's like I lost my memory. I couldn't remember anything. I stepped out into fresh air, then I was okay. Well, I'm not gonna mention the establishment, but what I would say that one of my recommendations, if you walk into a retail outlet or any business and you smell strong chemicals, I would say get with management and say, hey, I will come back again, you know, when you get better ventilation, air conditioning, I just can't handle these, these, these off-gassing, you know, of all these chemicals in your product. So, Basically, that's what I wrote about um, in that article. So it's called Sick Building Syndrome, and it can be found in our health repository. And one brochure that I have, um, and this is, uh, Please Protect Yourself from Household Toxics. And it's um, the author is Deborah Lynn Dadd, D-A-D-D. Um, but if you, really, if you really want this brochure, I can send it to you. Just go to our website, give me your address uh, if you'd like to, subscribe to our free monthly health newsletter, and I'd be more than happy to send you this brochure. It really has some good statistical information in it and talks about the hazards involved in household cleaners, the cosmetics you use, bath and body. You would never expect that your shampoos have um, cleaners that are used in uh, antifreeze and transmission um, um, cleaners and things like that, some of the bi same byproducts and chemicals, but if I could, I just wanted to read a couple of quotes from this brochure, and um, really what it's saying is, actually most consumer products that we all use every day are filled with toxic chemicals, and many of which, well that's nice, my phone's ringing, um, we're going to go ahead and let it ring, I'm going to keep going here. Um, but anyway, recently scientists have discovered that the toxic chemicals can lodge in our endocrine system, contributing to thyroid problems, diabetes, weight uh, gain, and infertility. At greatest risk are fetus, fetuses, children, uh, the elderly, and those who already are ill. But these chemicals are threatening the health of everyone every day. And some of those statistical um, bits of data um, show that 92% of all poison exposures occur in the home involving everyday household items such as medicines, cleaning supplies, cosmetics, and personal care items. 
Uh, and then down here, uh, we see that House subcommittees asked the National Institute of Occupational Safety and Health to analyze 2,983 chemical used in personal care products, and 884 were found to be toxic. Of these, 778 can cause acute toxicity, okay? And that leads to chronic issues in terms of your health. 146 can cause tumors out of those, 218 can cause reproductive complications, 314 can cause biological mutation, or better known as cancer. I just wrote an article about that. Stay tuned. It'll be posted at the website soon so you can read about that. And 376 can cause skin and eye irritations. And these can be found in your personal care products. Um, and they should promote hygiene, health, and beauty, not make us sick. So that's what this pamphlet's about. So if you would like to get the information, just go to the website and um, we'll take care of you. Uh, this is Mark Woodard. I've got a lot of traffic going on right now. I've got people calling in. So if you'd like to get the information, just leave the contact information. You want the free subscription, just leave your email address. It's all there. Um, and just watch for the newest updates. Usually once a month is when I update things. So this is Mark Woodard signing out. Thank you very much for uh, watching this clip and learning more about how to protect your health. So good health to you and your family. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.